are anxiety and depression the same? My name is Vicki Woodruff and I am a licensed clinical social worker in the state of Maryland and I'm the owner of Woodruff Counseling LLC. I specialize in the treatment of anxiety disorders and mood disorders. And today we're here to answer the question, are anxiety and depression the same? The short answer to that question is no, they are not. Anxiety um, is a pretty broad term that is covers a lot of different disorders. So when we think of anxiety disorders, we're talking about generalized anxiety disorder, which is just sort of a consistent um, state of anxiety that is irrational and doesn't fit the situation um, and is um, higher than it should be or that we'd expect. It can also include things like social anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, a specific phobia like a fear of heights or a fear of flying. Uh, these are all um, under the umbrella of anxiety disorders. Depression, on the other hand, is under the category of mood disorders. And depression is very different. So depression is really talking about um, your mood state and referring to sort of, um, hard to explain, depressed mood, but it's the idea that you, um, maybe you have a loss of interest or pleasure in activities that you once enjoyed, uh, sort of an apathetic attitude towards life, um, perhaps, you know, there, it's affecting sort of your sleep, your work, other things. Um, and there's a lot of other criteria and, and that go into depression, but depression and anxiety are different. The one thing to note though, is that we often see that anxiety and depression can occur simultaneously and that we can have what we call co-occurring. So it's possible to have generalized anxiety disorder and depression and be diagnosed with both. Anxiety is incredibly prevalent. Uh, about 31.1% of adults in the U US have experienced anxiety at some point in their life. And depression is also incredibly common. It wouldn't surprise me if you know some people in your family or in your community that are ex have experienced anxiety or depression and might even be seeking treatment or be on medication to treat and manage those. So it's incredibly common and it happens um, in a high rate of prevalence. And the reason that you might be asking, are they the same, is because they're often treated very similarly. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. In our practice, I treat anxiety and depression and I use a very similar approach for both because one of the most effective treatments for anxiety and depression is something called cognitive behavioral therapy. And what cognitive behavioral therapy does is we approach the way that you're thinking about issues and problems in your life and challenging those thought patterns and beliefs and we also work on the behavior end of it. How are you reacting to those thoughts and what are you doing with that? And how can we change those behaviors to make them more healthy so that you get a better outcome? So the treatment um, framework is actually for, for depression and anxiety is very similar. We can utilize a lot of the same treatments. Uh, CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy, um, ACT, uh, which is acceptance and commitment therapy, um, as well as a lot of other interventions that we would use like mindfulness. These are all different interventions, but that have, um, are effective for both anxiety and depression. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about how we can help with anxiety and depression, or are curious in the different approaches that we take, please visit us at http colon slash slash woodruff-counseling.com. You can schedule an online free consultation uh, directly on the website. And I'll link that in the bio down here. And you can also reach us at 410-816-4097. Thanks for tuning in.